Hi, Diamond Fernandez here uh, with the HeartFit Clinic, and I'm excited to talk to you about uh, today's topic is what should your heart rate be when you're exercising? This is a very common question uh, that I get, and of course, most of the population that we see here at the clinic and who we see uh, elsewhere is for people who have cardiac, metabolic, or pulmonary diseases, and so, uh, or at risk of these, and, and Again, a common question I get is, what should my heart rate be? And there are a few things to determine what your heart rate be should be when you're exercising. Of course, one of the most important things is to see a specialist uh, like ourselves to determine a safe level for you to be exercising at. But sometimes you don't have the opportunity to do this. And so you, there's a lot of information that you can get out there, but it's important. One Number one is really to understand your cardiovascular risk, um, understand the precautions to exercise, and understands your symptoms of heart disease. Those are the three big things. And there's absolutely no reason why no one can exercise. Um, physicians might tell you that you know you need to stop or hold off on exercise. Um, from my experience, and I've been doing this for since 1997 now, it's it's been it's been a long it's been a long road and not once can not someone do anything with exercise. There's always something someone can do, um, whether it be a light aerobic exercise or more vigorous. There's always something someone can do. So no matter who you are, whatever disability you have, there's always something that can be done. And I've written a, a blog post about three exercises and a, and a video on that as well, three exercises anybody can do. So let's get back to the topic at hand. What should your heart rate be when you're exercising? For, uh, for starters, it's important to understand what you're doing for exercise. If you've never done an exercise program before, um, I was just starting off with an aerobic exercise program. Um, this heart rate will be a little bit lower than, for example, if you're doing a boot camp or intervals or CrossFit or even weight training. But I would never start off with higher intensity. That is something that you can work up to. Um, I'm a big fan of baby steps. So uh, I'll discuss what your heart rate should be when you're actually doing aerobic exercise. So if you've never exercised before and you're starting an exercise program or you're starting an exercise program after a heart event, like I said, it's important to do it safely and effectively. And uh, in this case, you should join or get some cardiac rehabilitation information so that you can do things safely and effectively. Um, of course, if you'd like to, you can consult with us or an expert in heart health uh, to be able to give you uh, an example and feel free to contact me directly. I'm happy to help you out uh, if you have specific questions about that. So um, there are a couple ways that we actually look about getting heart rate and the most common formula we use is a 220 minus age. Um, now this is just an estimate. If you're taking a beta blocker um, or a medication that alters heart rates, um, this formula doesn't apply to you. So um, any cardiovascular medications, it's important, like I said, to talk to a specialist like, like myself. Just give me an email. I respond to emails over time here and, and happy to help you out. So, for example, if you're 50 years old, uh, you would take 220 minus 50, and that gives you 170, 170 which is uh, your maximum heart rate. And then it's uh, then you should determine your reserve. And so what that means is you take your maximum heart rate minus your resting heart rate, and that calculates a heart rate reserve, and then you want to determine a 50% of that reserve. So that's 100 times 50%, so that would be 50, and if uh, we add 70 to 50, your target heart rate should be around 120. So that's a, a quick calculation that you can get done to check that out. And, you know, if you're taking cardiovascular medications uh, for, uh, obviously, a heart problem or event, uh, it's important to have more education to make sure that you are doing things safely and effectively. And like I said, you can consult with us. So as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact us and I'll be happy to help you out. Or any one of our staff will be happy to help you out. And it's important to invest in your heart health and have the right mindset to really prevent and reverse heart disease. Here's to your heart health success. This is Diamond Fernandez.